please welcome to the stage, Mr. Charles Coyne. Thanks for that thunderous applause. Much appreciated. First off, I want to say how amazing you all look today. Boys are all dressed up in your suit and tie, looking sharp. Girls, your dresses are beautiful. You both finally look like high schoolers now. <laughs> Parents are just radiating, beaming with happiness. Great job on bringing up such amazing kids. Um, Mr. O'Connor, I see your pants match your jacket today. Good job. And Mr. Hadamil, you look okay. <laughs> In his New York Times best-selling novel, Outliers, Malcolm Gladwell talks about the keys to success in today's society. And he continuously mentions his 10,000 hour rule. He believes that in order to reach greatness at something, to become an expert at something, you need to practice a particular task for 10,000 hours. That's a lot of time. But he gives some examples. The Beatles, legendary rock band, performed 1,200 times in Hamburg, Germany, between 1960 and 1964, accumulating 10,000 hours of playing time before they made it big in the United States. Bill Gates, at the age of 13, gained access to a high school computer. He practiced programming in that high school computer for 10,000 hours in high school. Not my idea of fun, but by the time he graduated high school, he was ready to drop out of Harvard. 13. That's your age. You guys have this amazing opportunity to find something you love. Stick with it. Practice for 10,000 hours and become an expert. The best thing about your age is that you can choose anything you want. But remember, you can always fail at the things you don't want to do. So choose those things you love. Kind of like me. <laughs> I've been a teacher now for nine years. Surely I've accumulated 10,000 hours of teaching time. Let me just get out my calculator. It's the calculation. Too. All right. I've been a teacher for nine years. I teach about four hours a day times 180 days in a year times nine for nine years for a grand total of 6,480? Wait a minute. I'm 3,500 hours off? I can't be right. But I'm an expert teacher. I never make any mistakes. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to read stomach ache, and it came out as stomachicha. What a mistake! And nobody ever forgets it. <laughs> All right. Okay. If that's how you guys want to play it, I'm going to do what a lot of people here are just too afraid to do, and I'm going to give it to you straight up. I'm going to tell you the real high school. No sugarcoating here. Oh. In high school. You get detentions for wearing short shorts, not just warnings. <laughs> in high school, you are unable to use your cell phone in the classroom, at a movie theater, in a hospital operating room. Everything's bigger in high school. Your tests, your projects, people's expectations of you. Your principal is literally a giant. <laughs> okay, all right. Not literally a giant. Man, he's tall. <laughs> There's no crying in high school when your teachers tell you scary stories on your experiential night trip. <laughs> Tiffany, Claire, Kai, you suck it up. <laughs> Apparently, the Berlin Wall just went up between the middle and high school because you are now entering Russia. <laughs> All right, settle down, Mr. Corey. Settle down. High school's not that bad. I hear all you kids saying, Mr. Corey, I'm having the best year of my life. I, I don't want to graduate. I want to stay in middle school. Well, I'm here to tell you that, yes, this is probably the best year of your life. <laughs> How do I know this? Snapchat. <laughs> Snapchat is a mobile uh, social networking device that allows you to take snapshots in the form of videos and pictures to share amongst your friends. For the first time this year, I joined Snapchat. And I joined, and I joined up with some of the students. And let me tell you, some riveting, interesting, creative things going on in their lives. Let me give you an example. Snapchat number one of the day. Look, lunch. Mm. <laughs> Hogwarts! 
Snapchat number three. What I like to call stun look, open mouth. <laughs> Fourth Snapchat of the day. Mmm, dinner. <laughs> so yeah, judging by your Snapchats, you had the best year of your life. <laughs> Seriously though, um, I, I actually like you guys. <laughs> As some of you may not know, I taught some of these students for four years. I taught some of them in fifth grade. I was talking to Tiffany the other day, and we realized that I've taught Tiffany in some capacity for four years in a row. Woo! I so, <laughs> so, I, I don't know how, how, if you guys realize how lucky you are to go to a school like KIS. You have everything at your fingertips here. Your teachers are amazing. The facilities are wonderful. You have everything. I went to this school of hard knocks. <laughs> Our school colors were black and blue. <laughs> Our mascot was a fist. And the only thing that they served up in my cafeteria was a steady dose of knuckle sandwiches. <laughs> so yeah, I'm jealous. I'm jealous I'm not there with you. I'm jealous I wasn't born in the year 2000. I mean, how cool is that? You were born in a millennium year. That only happens once every thousand years. So I just, I wish, I wanna, I wanna be where you gradients are. I wanna be there, wanna be there, hang in, walking around with those, what do you call them? Oh yeah, beats. <laughs> Trying to act cool, I don't get too far. Maybe it's my hair, or the fact that I'm tall. I wish I knew, but I just, I don't know the, what do you call them? Oh yeah, the deeds. <laughs> up where you walk, up where you run, up where you stay all day and just have fun, wandering free. Wish I could be part of your brain. <laughs> It's going to be a sad day when you guys head to high school, and the only thing that all have left is hard at your Thank you. <laughs> okay, next up we have Suji Gang, Sydney Rich, Sarah Kim, and Hannah McCullough singing The Best Days of My Life. 